Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. And I'm Coach Victoria. And today we're going to be talking about should I break no contact for Valentine's Day? Ooh. That's why we're wearing blue today instead of red. Because <laughs> we're sad. Mm. <laughs> you know, every day after a breakup is a difficult day, to be honest. Yeah. But holidays are even worse. And I remember going through holidays after my breakups and they just felt so much worse because you're not only thinking about a regular day, you know, getting through that regular day, but now you're thinking about the upcoming holiday mm -hmm. for sometimes even like weeks yeah. leading up to that holiday. Like Christmas, brutal. Mm -hmm. That because, you know, Christmas is everywhere. There's decorations. There's all kinds of activities. There's, you know, decorating and family events. Mm -hmm. So you're thinking about Christmas for probably over a month yeah. leading up to that. Valentine's Day, it's not quite as long, but it's probably the second most brutal holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? you start to see the decorations up in stores. People on social media will start posting about their significant others and how happy they are, and it can be really devastating. You know, you're happy for your friends, sure, but it's a stark reminder of the relationship you lost. Yeah, and you know, of course, you know, there's birthdays, but that's not a holiday. But when you're going through a breakup, that's a really tough time because that's a particular day that's for you. And you want that person, you're desperately hoping that person is going to mm -hmm. want to celebrate that special day with you or acknowledge that special day with you. So special days are really tough after a breakup. And it can cause us to put incredible amounts of pressure on ourselves mm -hmm. and obsessively thinking about things and how to handle things. And we put a lot of meaning to the day. If we don't end up talking on Valentine's Day, then that means something. If we do end up talking on Valentine's Day, then that means something. So we attach meaning based off of what happens on that specific holiday. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's like you're acknowledging your connection, mm -hmm. the love that you have with that person, recognizing it, and you really want to connect with them on that day. It feels really important. And so you're probably constantly wondering, teetering back and forth, should I reach out on Valentine's Day? Should I break no contact? Should I contact them? Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about this today. Yeah, and you do tend to obsess on what they're doing, what they could be thinking, how their day is going, if they're spending it with somebody else. So we tell you all of this just to remind you that it's natural and normal to experience some of these things on Valentine's Day. And we're most likely going to put this video out before Valentine's Day, so we <laughs> want to prepare you to, you know, if these things do happen, to expect them and to not be surprised. So you might start checking their Snapchat, their Instagram to see if they put up pictures or if they've gotten gifts from somebody else or flowers from somebody else. Yeah, brutal. And people will be sneaky sometimes. They'll mm. they'll buy themselves flowers and then act like it's from somebody. Are you? <laughs> Are you incriminating yourself with laughing? <laughs> no, I just think it's funny because I can see it happening. <laughs> it's true. I have had people tell me it. I mean, you know, a lot of people tell me what they do behind the scenes, and I've had people tell me yeah. they've done it just to make somebody right. jealous. Or their mom or their sister got flowers, and they're like, look at these flowers I got. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, don't always assume mm -hmm. that everything you see on social media is true. It is absolutely not true. <laughs> And also, if this is your first Valentine's Day after a breakup, it's going to feel strange. So for those of you who have been in really long-term relationships or even married for many years, you might have had some type of a ritual on that day. Maybe if you were musicians, you would come up with a song for each other each Valentine's Day. Or if you were artists, you would paint something each each Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Or maybe had like a certain restaurant that you would go to. So that first holiday after the breakup can be really difficult and and will feel like something's missing because something is yeah it's like uncomfortable it's just like yeah it really does feel like there's something missing mm -hmm. and if it's your first time ever being single on a valentine's day or your first time in a long time then that's going to feel strange too because usually on this holiday you're doing something with your partner whomever that that was absolutely so expect that it'll feel unfamiliar and expect for you to kind of overwhelmingly think about that they should be spending it with you. Mm. And, 
you know, thinking thoughts like, how can they not want to be with me? How can they not want to see me on this day? Mm -hmm. I mean, we just broke up. Don't they want to talk with me? And it just, it feels like torture. Mm -hmm. It really does. And you're going to have to sit with a lot of uncomfortable feelings and anxiety in that situation. And, you know, some of you coming to this channel may are just discovering it for the first time, maybe not knowing anything about no contact uh, and what you're supposed to do or not do. But fortunately, we've got a whole playlist <laughs> called uh, No Contact. And basically, it goes into a lot of the intricacies and details for obviously general situations. Every situation is different, as we can see in our calls every day. But we do try and give a lot of information out there because there are so many different types of situations of what to do with no contact. But when you get to something specific and unusual, like a special day, like Valentine's Day, it could get really confusing about what to do. And you could really go into heavy debate because the day feels even more important to get that right, mm -hmm. do the right thing on that special day. Exactly. And you want to remember that Valentine's Day is just as important for your ex. Now, they might not be very vocal about it or very open about it, but in that day, they're most likely going to be grieving you as well. A part of it is going to feel uncomfortable and different and not usual for them too. And so there might be a small part of them that does wish for you to reach out. And hearing that on your end, you probably think, oh, okay, then I should do it. <laughs> That's not what we mean. What we mean is that it's their responsibility to initiate contact since it was their decision to end the relationship. So the ball is still in their court and a part of them might want to hear from you that day, but it also takes them being humble enough to reach out to you, to start that conversation, to get things going. Because otherwise it will seem like an intrusion on your end if they're not fully committed to the decision of talking with you, then it, it can go sideways. Yeah. And don't let them bait you. Don't let them post something on social media or do something on social media to trick you into mm -hmm. reaching out. We really believe that you should let them come to you, especially if they've made the decision to end the relationship. And, you know, all they need to do is make some kind of an effort to connect with you, some kind of bid to connect with you. But it's really on them. And so, you know, while it can be extremely tempting to reach out for no contact, we don't advise that you do it. Now, of course, you may be in a complicated situation, and many of you are, and you want to talk about that in a coaching, and that's what we'll go over with you. Mm -hmm. But for a, a general video, kind of trying to explain what to do, we're going to suggest that you don't do that, and you focus on taking care of yourself that day in whatever way you can, because mm -hmm. it's not going to be easy to do. It's a very challenging day. It's going to be challenging leading up. It's going to be challenging afterwards. And I do want to say, just because you don't hear from your ex on Valentine's Day does not mean that they won't come back. Because it's sometimes a day like that that sits with them that takes them some time to realize, wow, I didn't really think I was going to be affected by this. But now that I'm going through it, it's very different than what I thought when I ended the relationship. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I want to go back to your point about making sure that you're taking care of yourself on this day too. So we really want you to be able to surround yourself with people that do care about you and do love you. I know it's not going to be the same as spending Valentine's Day with your ex in a really romantic setting or anything like that, but it's important that you do use your support systems, depend on them. That's what they're there for. And you know, if people really are your friends and really are there for you, they're gonna be honored to be a part of that process. Now, I know some friends might be annoyed and maybe tired of hearing about your breakup and that's okay, but just being around them can help you feel better. Absolutely. Yeah, and it will be a tough day. You know, some of that grief will come, those feelings of loss, sadness, especially when romance is going to be right in your face. It's gonna be really hard to avoid. So grieve it, feel it, and that can be done in many different ways. Maybe Valentine's Day for you is a day to get a bucket of ice cream, the old traditional wa watch <laughs> breakup movies. You know, mine, my favorite is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a very good one. Or, ah, what's that one with Jim Carrey? Spotless Mind. Yeah, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah. But anyways, point is you can watch a movie, you can listen to your favorite breakup songs, do something creative, expressive to get those feelings out there. It, you know, it will be a tough day, but we know that you can handle it. Yep. 
And, you know, rest is important too, mm -hmm. because it really helps you manage the anxiety. But do whatever you have to do to feel better. If you can do something to treat yourself, take yourself, you know, to do something that you enjoy, maybe do go see a movie with your friends, uh, anything that you can to help you get through a difficult day, mm -hmm. because it's not easy. But, you know, ultimately, you have to do it for yourself. And you have to work through it on your own. And that is showing confidence. Instead of chasing your ex and letting them know that you're still available and, you know, mm -hmm. then they don't have to suffer the consequences of their decision, mm -hmm. which you want them to do. Yeah. And I just want to leave you on this note that sometimes the idea of something can scare us more than the reality of it. I know a lot of this video has been geared toward prepare yourself for Valentine's Day. It might be tricky. It might be really emotional. But it also might not be. You know, you might be psyching yourself up for something that on the day when you're in the present moment there with friends or with whatever you're doing, you realize, okay, this wasn't nearly as bad as I thought. So I just wanted to put that out there, a possibility for some of you, not for all of you, but you know, it, it, it is possible. You'll get through it. Mm -hmm. it. It's not easy for some of you and we understand, but you will feel better. And believe me when I tell you, just because your ex doesn't contact you, doesn't mean they're not thinking about you and it doesn't mean that you won't hear from them or they may not reconsider things with you, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so hopefully this has been helpful to you. Of course, if you wanna get our help personally, you could go to my website, askcraig.net. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Coach Victoria is also available for Skype coaching. I'm here if you need to talk. Just click on her name in the top of the website to schedule with her. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth. And I'm Coach Victoria. And we will talk with you soon.